Okay, so in this video, we're going to learn how to factor by grouping. And factor by grouping typically takes place when you have four terms. But before we can learn how to do this, we need to know how to do some slightly easier questions as well. And I'm going to start with this one right here. So I'm going to explain this one in full. I'm going to relate it to a similar question on the side. So I'm going to make up a different question based on this one. It's basically 5xy minus 4y. In this question here, if you know how to common factor, you should know that you can take out a y and you're left with 5x minus 4. Now I want you to pretend that the y in this question is the same as x minus 3 and you'll notice the questions are identical. So similar to this question where I could take out a y or common factor out a y, over here I can common factor out an x minus 3. So I'm going to take out an x minus 3 and I'm left with 5x minus 4. Okay, and using, as you notice, it's very similar to this one. Now that's the explanation of how you factor out a bracket in a question, and that's what we're gonna apply to learn factoring by grouping. So let's take a look at the next couple of questions. This one, I can factor out x plus y, and I'm left with 3x plus 4y. This one here, if I look at the brackets over here, I have x plus 3 and over here I have 3 plus x. But x plus 3 and 3 plus x are the exact same thing. So you can write the bracket as x plus 3 or 3 plus x, it doesn't matter. And then your final solution is going to be this. Okay, however, in question number 4, x minus 3 is not the same as 3 minus x. If you want to figure this out, just sub in a random value. 10 minus 3 is 7. 3 minus 10 is negative 7. So you want to start by making the two brackets exactly the same. And in order to do that, you need to factor out a negative out of the bracket. So I'm going to write this the same over here. Over here, I'm going to factor out a negative. So this is going to change to minus 5. And now this becomes x minus 3, which is identical to this bracket. So now I can common factor out the bracket and I get my final solution. Okay, this leads us to factoring by grouping which works on four terms and I'm going to show you how to do it with these three questions. So the first thing I like to do with factoring by grouping is I like to put a little small dotted line over there before the sign in the middle. You look at the first two terms and you're going to common factor. So here I can common factor out an A and I'm left with x plus y and over here I can common factor out 5 and I'm left with x plus y. What you notice is the two brackets are identical and now it looks like one of the previous questions so I'm going to common factor out x plus y and I'm left with a plus 5. Let's try it with this next one here I'm going to put my dotted line there I'm going to common factor out an x left with x plus 4. Over here I'm going to common factor out a negative 5. So this is going to become x. That's going to change to plus 4 because negative 20 divided by negative 5 is plus 4. Brackets are identical so I'm going to common factor it out. And that is my final solution. Let's try the final one here. So start with my dotted line. Common factor here is 3x square. I'm left with x minus 3. My common factor over here is negative 2. You always have to take this sign as your common factor. And this is going to turn into x minus 3. Brackets are the same, so I'm going to common factor them out. And my final solution is this.